Knock knock it's Knuckles and welcome to the Sonic CD playthrough. We were in the middle of the Sonic Adventure playthrough but as you may know if you saw the end of my last video I've been summoned back to the past by Tikal to play Sonic CD because I was lazy and I didn't play it before. Yeah you kind of need to this game introduces Amy Rose and Metal Sonic it's something we should probably watch before we go any further into the series. Wasn't that an awesome intro? I think it was. And a lot of people also think it was because that was a really cool intro. So yeah, this is Sonic CD. As I've kind of hinted at before, I'm not a huge fan of this game, but a lot of people are, and if you are, that's cool. I can totally see why you are. It's not a bad game by any means. It's just, in my personal opinion, not one of the better classic Sonic games. Level design is a little weird to get used to, in my opinion. There's not a lot of flow to it. And uh, going back to the past is a little bit difficult. I'm trying to get it to happen because I do want to... Uh, I feel like since I'm doing a Let's Play, I should most definitely try to get back to the past um, so that I can destroy the Roboticizers. For those of you who don't know... Um, oh, see, I almost did it, but I went... I got stopped at like a wall or something. Okay, so for those of you who don't know, this game ha See, I was trying to figure out how to even get out of that thing. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, basically the story in this game involves time travel. And you have to cross these signs, these past and future signs. You only really want to use the past signs and go really fast for a little while without stopping and you'll get teleported to the past where you can destroy this thing. This is what it looks like here in the present, but you want to be there in the past while it's still operational so you can destroy it and create a good future. Um, you have two options for how to... Uh... Are we out of past signs altogether? If we are, then I'll have no choice but to uh, do the special stages. Alrighty, let's see if I can do it this time. Yes! Okay. Now we're going to the past. Um, I had to reuse that sign as you saw, and you know how I did that? By restarting the game. And I won't have that liberty with any other level, so... We'll see how this playthrough goes. <laughs> oh look, here's the uh, Metal Sonic thing. This is just a projection, we'll destroy it. Doesn't really do anything. I think it might make animals show up in the stage or something. And... We want to find that uh, generator. I think it's around here somewhere. I know where it is in this first level, but later levels, I can't guarantee I will. So I'm probably just going to go for the time stones. But I'll tell you this, I'm not guaranteeing that I'm going to get the good ending in this game. Because I've never done it before. And so I can't guarantee, even with this let's play, that I'll do it this time. But that was the robot generator, and now... We're going to hop in this special stage, and uh, hopefully I'll get it right. I won't fail it, hopefully. 
Now this game actually is really easy if you don't go for um, 100%, if you don't go for the good ending, you know? It's actually pretty easy. It's actually shorter than a lot of the other classic Sonic games. This is the special stage. They were trying to do some sort of a 3D thing here, but it uh, it's very awkward to control. And uh, depth perception is very awkward in this. Uh, but you're just trying to destroy all these UFOs uh, without running out of time. You don't want to hit the water. If you hit the water, you basically just run out of time almost immediately. It just goes down very rapidly. Oh, can I hit the time UFO? Oh, oh my god, did you see that? I hit it, but it was like a split second too late. Okay, no, uh, no time stone for me just yet. Anyway, let's see if we can get to the past here. I really don't want to have to go online and look for where these uh, robot generators are in the middle of a playthrough, but I might end up having to do that or just not be bothered with it. I don't know. I'm going to try for a while, but if I mess it up, I'm not going to sweat it too much. Thank goodness. I was like, where are these past signs even at? Okay. Kaboom. Oh, look, and there's the robot generator right there. So that's perfect. Let's see if I can get 50 rings. And let's see if I can not go to the future, please. There's no reason to ever go to the future on purpose in this game. Like, at least not gameplay-wise. If you want to go there just to see it, you can. But gameplay-wise, there's no purpose to the future signs. They just kind of get in the way. And if you go there by accident when you're trying to get to the past from the present, that can be a huge pain. And this is what I'm talking about. Look at this freaking rock that doesn't need to be here that just stops you. That's what I'm talking about with this level design. It kind of stinks. All right, everybody. Another try at this special stage. Let's see how it goes. Ow. You want to avoid those. I'm doing a little better at this one than the last one, but I'm still running a bit low on time. Uh, we're down to 20 seconds now, so I need to destroy this time UFO in order to... Uh, or that can happen. Yeah, but we did make a good feature in the zone, so we're here in the good future for Act 3. Act 3 is always in the future. If we hadn't destroyed those robot generators, it would not look so pretty. And also, look at this. I can just get behind him and boom. Is that the easiest boss in Sonic history or not? It's not actually, because there's an even easier boss in Sonic 1 for Game Gear, but whatever. I mean, that was, that was ridiculously easy. The boss fights in this game are not very strong. They're super easy or stupid or whatever. They're not this game's strong suit. Okay, so she's gonna try to hug me and we just jump up here and then she'll get captured. Don't really care. But yeah, her whole deal is she read tarot cards that said the first person she meets on the island or on the planet Little Planet, which is what we saw in the intro that's been enslaved by Eggman. The tarot card said the first person she'd meet on there would be her forever lover, and of course it happened to be Sonic. And thus we have the beginning of her character being obsessed with Sonic. And I just want to land so that I can go forward. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not seeing any past signs yet. Oh, there's one. Maybe I should say that more often. That seems to make the past signs appear. Alright. And hope for the best. Hopefully there's no wall or something to stop me. There we go. Now we're in the past. That doesn't mean I know where the robot generator is. <laughs> and I'm not sure if that's actually what those things are called. I didn't know what they... When I was a kid, I was watching the Clement playthrough, and he just calls them roboticizers, which is not what they're actually called. The roboticizer is the thing at the end of the level, and uh, I think he got it from Sat AM. And so I looked up, where's the roboticizer for Wacky Workbench? And of course, it it had no idea what... Goog YouTube had no idea what I was talking about. Google had no idea what I was talking about. So I did not 
find the information I needed very quickly. I suppose I could have looked up Good Future for Wacky Workbench just to play through. Oh, shit. Huh. We might not be getting the good ending, guys. <laughs> Once you pass that goal sign, which can happen by accident like it just did, uh, there's no going back. So I'm probably... I'll be honest with you, I mean, I'll go for the special stages for a while, but, like, I'm probably just gonna play this game the way I normally play, and that's just gonna be getting from point A to point B. So, sorry if you were hoping to see the good ending in this playthrough. Uh, it's probably not happening. It might, uh, but, um, it would have to be done for the special stages. Because as soon as you miss one good future, which I just did by accident, that's your only option at that point. And as you've seen, I'm not very good at said special stages. <laughs> However, I don't want to make it sound like I don't like this game. I mean, sure, it's not my favorite of the classic Sonic games. But as I've said, it's by no means a bad game. And I, it does have a lot of fun moments. And if there's one thing I can definitely give it credit for, I absolutely love the aesthetics and the sort of style and uh, tone of the game. This was one of the first Sonic games to actually have cutscenes and a story and stuff, and like characters, and that's pretty cool. I have my friend's dog next to me, who I'm babysitting, and he has no idea what a YouTube video is, or what a Sonic is, and uh... He has no idea why I'm saying all these random things. <laughs> he, uh, he just wants to sleep, but um, instead I'm y yelling about Sonic and uh, video games and stuff like that that he has no understanding of. <laughs> but you wouldn't have even known that if I didn't say anything because he is the quietest dog in the world. Aren't you, Rattle? Like, he is a really chill dog. Rarely ever barks at anything. That's pretty cool. Oh, I didn't realize I was low on time, no! <laughs> Am I ever... Okay, here's the challenge. Can I get through one special stage in this entire playthrough? <laughs> if I can manage to beat one special stage in this entire playthrough, that would be good. So as you can see, we've got a bad future for, th for this level. Oh no, it's this boss fight. I don't like this boss fight. This boss fight is a huge pain in the ass because you got to use these wonky pinball physics. So uh, we'll see how this goes. He just keeps throwing stuff to knock you back down. Ow. And, uh, and yeah, and then you just fall back down. So once you get up there, it's really easy. I think you just hit him once and he's down. But the whole challenge is just getting up there to where Eggman is. Oh, no. I was close. I was really close. Oh, yes. There we go. I did it. Not too bad. A minute, 25 seconds. That is pretty cool. That is pretty reputable of the great Knuckles, the YouTuber. Oh, apparently I have an evil twin. <laughs> I found that out in the comments the other day. There is another They Call Me Knuckles. And I wonder if he can beat the Sonic CD special stages. <laughs> this game also has a lot of gimmicks. Like this thing, and I keep messing up the timing on it. Oh, come on. Okay, there's got to be another way around here. Let's see what we got. No. Fall back down. Oh, no creepy drowning theme in this game, is there? That's another that's another weird thing about this game. There's no creepy da 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 da, da drowning theme. And as as scary as that song is, as much as it fills you with anxiety, I kind of want it to be there. I mean, it's kind of a staple of Sonic games, you know. I don't feel like I'm playing a Sonic game when I start drowning and I don't hear that. Same thing with the extra life. You pick up an extra life, it just goes, "Yes." So it's it's quite a, it's it's its own beast. It's its own very unique kind of strange game but that's what's so cool about it and I think that's why it does have so many fans it's a very unique Sonic game that you know sets itself apart and stands out from the rest it had some good ideas that were never used again like the time travel gimmicks and whatnot it had an interesting story it had 
cool cutscenes. So yeah, that's Sonic CD for you. It also had two soundtracks. Which one is better? Shut up. Neither one is objectively better. <laughs> Personally, I prefer the Japanese soundtrack just a little bit, but like, they're both good in their own way. They're just different. Like, the Japanese version has the better Stardust Speedway music, but the American version has the better Quartz Quadrant music. Especially the Bad Future. Like, really feels like Eggman actually took over the area. And so, both soundtracks are great. And luckily, this Christian Whitehead remake of the game actually lets you pick which soundtrack you want. Wait a minute. Hang on. Am I in Minecraft? Look at this. This is totally a cobblestone block, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going up the slide and mom can't stop me oh well not that it matters but I made a good future for this zone or for this act <laughs> all right we're gonna try again at the special stage and uh, wish me luck everybody because it's probably not gonna go well not with that attitude it's not I can do this let's go for it I can destroy the robot thingies. The UFOs. I believe in myself. As I fall flat on my face. I just played as Tails, so I believe in myself. In Sonic, in Sonic Adventure. I will believe in myself. And I will destroy all the UFOs. <laughs> And my poor dog is next to me, or my friend's poor dog is stuck next to me listening to this crap I'm singing. Okay, which one do I go for? I guess this one. Okay, got more time to go after this one UFO. I swear to God, if I lose just because of this one UFO, I'm going to be mad. Oh, come on. You can do it. Just hit the... Yes! I did it. I finally beat one of the special stages. Are you all proud of me? <laughs> oh, there's a way you can get, like, a bunch of rings around here. Oh, look at me. I got, um, invincibility. There's a lot of blocky terrain in this game, I've noticed. Like, compared to other classic Sonic games, there's a lot of, like, squares and stuff and straight edges. And, I mean, that kind of makes sense for this bad future that Eggman's created, but even, like, the regular good future version of this level, I think it's the same way. Alright, now for this boss fight. This one's so stupid. His shield is just bubbles. You want to drink all the bubbles and not get hit. And, yeah, that's, that's pretty much what you do in this boss fight, and that's about it. Um, I hope he doesn't regenerate the bubbles. Yeah, that would be bad if he did. <laughs> there he goes. But yeah, that's the thing about a lot of the boss fights in this game. It's all, once you get him open, it's easy. It's all about just getting him open. Like that pinball boss fight, it's all about getting to the top. Once you get up there, you just hit him a couple times and he explodes. Oh.